Hi, this is David Abonic Turtle. Welcome to video 4C, which is the third of five videos in total devoted to the topic of valuation and risk models in the part one FRM for 2012. And that means that we have four of the chapters from Bruce Tuckman's Fixed Income Securities. These chapters reappear and have been in the FRM for several years. The second edition has recently been revised to the third edition, the first new edition in about 10 years. But as of 2012, we're still assigned the second edition. This will probably be the last time. And these are very solid introductory chapters to fixed income securities. So highly testable, highly relevant to a part one FRM candidate. And in regard to the learning spreadsheets, I've consolidated. I had five last year, but we're bringing, we're tightening that up to three learning spreadsheets. 4C1, 2, and 3. 4C1 illustrates the discount function and a couple of applications there. It's a workbook, but only of median relevance. And then 4C2 and 4C3 I tagged as both highly relevant. And these are really core building blocks for the asset class that is fixed income securities and that is for C2 the uh, illustrations with the spot and forward rate curves very central to the uh, bond or fixed income securities asset class and for C3 all uh, duration a workbook several sheets um, duration is the key single factor sensitivity that we use for bonds and fixed income instruments. So those are very um, foundational to the FRM. So we, chapter one is in introductory. What is uh, it introduced the time value of money and asks the question, what is today's fair price of a thousand dollars received in one year? And Tuckman makes two points basically. The first is that as individuals, you, you and I can assign different values to that today. I can decide that $1,000 in a year is worth 940 to me, and you can decide something different. However, and this is the second point, and really the more important one for our purposes, there ought to exist only one market price for this future $1,000. Quote, is the collection of these individual decisions that determines the market price for $1,000 next year in the first place. And now, so this time value of money concept and discounting, a couple of, a couple of useful terms, tools, if you will. The first is the discount factor. Notice the notation here, D of T. Um, this gives the present value of one unit of the currency to, to be received at the end of the term. So, for example, here's D of six months, or the discount factor for six months, or probably just best to say the six month discount factor. And so notice it's 0 0.97557. It's gonna be less than one and get a greater than one zero, a greater than zero, sorry, between zero and one. So that means, what does this six month discount factor means? It means that the present value of a dollar to be received in six months is 97 0.557 cents, in other words, $1 multiplied by our six month discount factor. And similarly, if that, mean, that means if A pays a dollar five in six months, given that same discount factor, we can determine that it's worth today 102.43. So it's just a number that we use to multiply that future value by, by to get today's uh, value. But it's really handy because it may be hard on first introduction to appreciate the elegance of the or the utility of the discount factor, but something that it does for us is, is it, it impounds the, uh, it already contains, embeds the information about the compound frequency, so we don't have to do that work. So it's uh, pretty handy. Um, now the set of discount factors is called the discount function. So for example, here's a discount function. It's a series of the six month discount factor, the one year discount factor, the 18 month discount factor, and the two year discount factor. And now, and this spread, this uh, exhibits also in 4C1, we'll 